Hey y'all and welcome back. Oh, we getting right into it. Here go the satin shield. <laughs> so I'm just going to start with this satin shield and I am going to take a dime size and I am going to put it all over her hair. Now, as you can see, this is my girl Jayla, cousin. What's up, cousin? She has um, heat damage and quite a bit of it. And she honestly today wanted to like do a big chop and I was like freaking out like, no, you want to cut your hair off? But she does heat styles more than anything and she has a very i would say her hair is nice and heavy but it's also fine all at the same time if that makes any sense i'm pretty sure it sounds crazy but as you can see in the back she has a lot of curls still and her ends are really straight and that front is very straight so a lot of times people have heat damage in the front because that's just the part of the hair that one for a lot of people grows the slowest and two people seem to touch up their hair in the front a lot as well so I didn't want her to get a big chop today I, I'm trying to talk her into gradually just um, cutting her hair and getting those ends off and Another thing about, you know, just gradually taking the ends off is she's a heat style girl. Like, it's not like she doesn't wear her natural curls pretty much at all. She wears protective styles and she does straight hair and curly hair. So I just decided to tell her, like, let's just use the heat responsibly. I've transitioned so many people out of their heat damage by still using heat. Because like I say in a lot of my videos, heat isn't the enemy lack of knowledge is. So as long as you know how to use heat, you'll be fine. And I can totally get her curl pattern back without cutting it all off. But, you know, I'm not here to really talk her out of a big chop but i just told her like let's just try a few things first so we're going in with the blow dryer and we are just going to blow her hair out i'm gonna do it in two sections today instead of four i usually do four to six sections but i'm gonna just do two because i want to keep it full and i want to use as less heat on concentrated on a little bit of hair as possible I know some of you may notice that I have a whole business card right where the concentrator is on the blow dryer. And that is to keep the nozzle on. Over time, the concentrator, it just falls off. So I put a business card in there in that little gap space just to hold it on pretty tight. Now, if you see, her hair is super shiny already. And I'm just going like show you how the shine is, natural shine. Well, not... It's natural shine, but I added a little something, something. So I washed it with the first class to Morocco shampoo and I use a conditioner and Temptation by Kiss is a clear rinse. Now, remember we did a video a few videos ago where I um, used the Adore rinse and they didn't have any more. So I tried the one by Kiss and it is just as good. So if they have it, I will link it down below so that you can use it and get your hair shining too. All right. As you see, it's very easy to comb out because that's basically how straight it is. To the naked eye, it almost might look like she has a relaxer, but she does not. It's just the top is just the straightest. So I can't wait to like see the progress on her natural curls coming back um but yeah all you gotta do is just heat responsibly
Now, despite of what her hair might look like while it is wet, her hair is very healthy. It feels good, it shines, it's heavy, and you know, I just love it regardless. So what we're gonna do is, she has a little fine spots here on her ends. You see it's a little thin on the right side and it's a little thin in the middle. If your hair is thin in the middle, it could be from two things. One, it might be a stress spot. Some people, when they stress or have issues, the hair just goes there first. Two, you might be wearing too many ponytails and when you do wear a ponytail, you might use rubber bands. So just be careful with wearing a lot of ponytails. Maybe switch the spot up a lot and make sure to always wear ponytail holders that don't have any metal clasps and just don't over tighten your ponytail holders. That'll help a lot. I'm taking my Her Strands of Hair shears. Guys, the shears are gonna be back on her site tomorrow. No, what's today? It's gonna be Sunday when I post this. So Monday, April 5th. I hope I got the date right, but the, the shears will be back on her site. So go to herstrandsofhair.com on Monday and get your shears. Don't say I didn't warn you guys because I know you guys have been asking. So yeah, we just started by taking that amount off just to make it heavy from root to end. And then as time goes on, we'll just keep going in and trimming it very heavy over and over again. The front is gonna take the longest because that almost has to grow from the roots to get those curls back. But like I said before, if she really, really wants to do a big chop, I, I felt like it was my hair when she asked for it. And, and I always tell people, like, it's just hair. You know, let it go if you have to. But I ain't want her to go there just yet. But it's not about me. It's about her. So if she still decides she want to do a big chop, then I guess we going to have to do it. Now in the front, I'm just gonna pull it forward and I am gonna take quite a bit off, enough that will allow without it looking crazy. We, we played around with the idea of doing bangs, but I, I was like, no, let's just do it later maybe. <laughs> but what I'm doing is I'm gonna give her a curtain bang, so I'm basically um, layering it. I tell, when it's longer hair, I usually like call them the Aaliyah bang. But I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna give her a curtain bang. I'm just pulling it forward and I am gonna layer it so when it's straight, it frames her face. And then I'm gonna go to the other side and I am just gonna take a piece from the right side so that I can make sure that it is even so that when it comes all the way around, it is just completely even. Now see how even and perfect that is, period. You know what I'm saying, it's cute. Um, so it's nice and heavy too. Now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna give her heavy layers. That's also gonna allow me to take a lot of hair off at once. So the layers is gonna be in there. Um, I have some clients come in like, hey, how can I grow my layers out? Cause some clients end up getting layers from other people or over time and they just want them out. So one thing about layers is it takes a little while for them to grow out, but long layers, you know, they kind of blend, so it's not as bad. But yeah, we're doing heavy layers today to help get a few more inches off of her hair. While doing layers, I never want to go past the ear point, like the top of the ear point, because then that'll take the weight from around the bottom. So you never want to take the weight off of the hair. You just want to actually add weight within the middle. So that's what layering is allowing me to achieve.
So just like the video when I trim my own ends, I do the test where I pull it up and see how those ends look. Make sure they're all even with each other. You see that fan? Pow. <laughs> I love it. It's so satisfying. My nephew says that all the time. So satisfying. Like, it literally is. So I always just want to pull the hair up and make sure that it's even. Looks beautiful. And we can move on with styling. So today we will be curling with the now old school Marcel iron. So if you saw the title of this video a while back, I had saw somebody on Instagram using a Marcel iron and they were like, if you don't know how to curl with these, you're not a real hairstylist. And it's like, I get where they were coming from, but at the end of the day, we are such in another phase of life where well, I went to hair school in 2001 and I learned with these, but now they don't even use them in hair school anymore. If you're in hair school, let me know if they pulled out some Marcells for y'all, but they don't even use them anymore. They give out flat irons and I'm just like, I can't believe that that's happened in hair school, but I will say that I don't think that that statement was fair to say. If you don't know how to use Marcells, you just don't know how to use Marcells and it doesn't make you any less of a hairstylist. I think that... As long as you know what you're doing in your lane, then you still are a great hairstylist and it doesn't matter. It took me so long to learn how to use the Marcells. Like I didn't learn in school how to do it because I let them intimidate me, you know? So when I used to go work at the salon after school, I was like, I'm just having a problem learning the Marcells. And the woman who owned the shop that I worked at was like, well, do you know how to use chopsticks? And I'm like, yeah, she's like, use them like chopsticks. And from that day on, I was click clacking away. I was just using my Marcel irons and, and just achieving really beautiful curls. So um, if you are in school or if you want to learn the Marcel, because I like Marcel irons, they end up giving you a rounder curl for a lot of people the curls last longer but again you have to use them respons responsibly because with flat irons you get even temperature all the way through the plates because it's electric but when it comes down to a marcel iron the tip of the iron is in the back of the stove so when the iron is all the way in the back of the stove like that the tip of the iron is hotter than the rest of the iron so you always want to test that heat on a piece of paper towel and if the paper towel tints even a little bit color brown tan any of that they are too hot to use so i'm able to use them on jayla today because i'm not even leaving the iron in the stove long enough for them to even get like crazy hot and that's why i'm using duck bill clips to keep those curls in place because i want her hair to be super fluffy today and just like full of volume and life so i just think that the marcells was good for this look because i want her hair to look super heavy super big and fluffy So I take the iron and I just tap the root because when you clamp on, you can't get all the way to the root. So you want to tap the root just to straighten it a little bit. Then you go in and you curl and then you grab that curl and then you take a duck bill clip and you hold it in place. You don't have to do it like that. You can just leave the curls there. Um, you can use a flat one and just make it straight. However you want to do it, but I want it to have a little more life.
Now, when I get to this layer, I always like to part diagonal because that's going to help with that curtain bang. You know, when, when your bangs just come forward a little bit and then feather back, that helps with that effect. Also, this is clearly just a given, but if you want bigger curls, you use a larger iron. And if you want smaller curls, just downsize and it'll create whatever look you are going for. I think it's so funny doing a video with Marcel curlers. Um, it Just Marcel curlers and hot combs remind me of the night before Easter in this video. Right now, I am recording this video for you guys. Um, well, recording the voiceovers for you, and it literally is the night before Easter. <laughs> so my, my mom, she used to burn me so bad with these curlers and in the, in the hot comb, and she used to put butter on my burns. Like, who would do that to a child? Why are you putting butter on me? <laughs> like, can I get some cold water, some ice or something? Like, butter, you're killing me. Like, but I was raised by my great-grandma, and for whatever reason, that was her remedy, is to put butter on. It's like you're cooking my burns, sis. So I hated that, but... If you celebrate, happy Easter, um, and if not, happy Sunday, and I hope you enjoy your day. Now that the curls are done, we're going to use the glass brilliant shine just to add a little seal on there. And I am going to start from the first curler and take, I mean the first curl, and take those duckbill clips out. Take them out carefully because, you know, it's easy to snag one piece of hair. So you want to just make sure that you are. <laughs> that was not a snag. She got a chill. <laughs> she was she had a little chill. I did not pull no hair. But, you know, it's easy to pull a piece of hair because duckbill clips and the hair is just so free that you just want to be careful as you remove them because you don't want to snag any hair and cause your client or yourself any pain. So now that all the clips are out, you have two options. You can either wrap it and do the saran wrap technique or the plastic cap technique because that will flatten it out. Or you could take a styling comb or your fingers and you could just start fluffing. Now, I decided to just go ahead and fluff today because if I would have did saran wrap or a cap, it wouldn't last as long. You know, I want to send her home nice and curly and fluffy so that it lasts much longer for her. If I would have did saran wrap or the cap, it would have flattened it out early. So I just rather her have something to work with over time rather than to start her out a few days in. So you see how much life there is here. It's just so fluffy and heavy. It's beautiful. And um, look at <laughs> You better shake it like a Polaroid picture, Jayla. <laughs> and there goes that curtain bang. Just push it forward. Um, and yeah, all she has to do is wrap this up every night with a silk or satin scarf and don't put any product in it. If you spray product in your hair, all it's going to do is weigh it down a lot earlier than the natural oils coming from your scalp would do. And that's why you want to wear a satin scarf every night or a silk scarf every night because it helps pull the natural oils out of your roots. She cracking up. We so silly and I don't even know what we was talking about. <laughs> I do not know. But when you use a cotton scarf or sleep on cotton pillowcases, it sucks the oil out. So you want to always do stuff that's helping to nourish your hair hair and not pulling away from it. So 
so yes Jayla's hair is done and if everybody could jump in the comments and tell Jayla congratulations she's graduating high school this year and you know because of COVID there is no graduation but check out her graduation photos she looks so pretty right <laughs> yes cousin big prr. see the youth says say big prr instead of period now <laughs> see y'all next time